After KTN News aired the story of Rekyol Kaoka, a lady who was looking for a job by using a placard along Lemuru Road. Good tidings have come her way. The Youth Enterprise Development Fund has offered Rekyol an internship as well as a counselling uh, program. The fund management has urged more young people to consider entrepreneurship and apply for funds as an alternative to diminishing employment opportunities. Raquel Kaoka is all smiles as she reports to her new place of work. Her desperate search for gainful employment turned successful when she received that long-awaited call from the Youth Entrepreneurship Development Fund. I appreciate so much the, from the CEO of Top Management to everyone at the Youth Enterprise Fund. Yeah, I appreciate so much. Yeah, and I feel great. Also, I appreciate those guys from different companies that gave me offers. Uh, but I chose this one because I thought, I think it's the best offer so far. We learned about the Raquel Ogake Kaoka's case uh, from KTN News. The story was covered and uh, it moved us as the youth fund uh, because we learned that there's a daring lady who went to the street to advertise herself and look for a job. So from KTN we learned about it and then we moved in to assist. Raquel grabbed the attention of many people when she took to the streets asking for a job using a placard. She is an economics and finance graduate from Kenyatta University. We'll give her some engagement for three months at some nice package to assist her meet some immediate uh, commitments. But most importantly, we are taking her through some counseling session so that uh, she comes back to herself and uh, uh, as we prepare for a long-term solution for her. We have a systemic uh, opportunity, uh, let me call it, to review our education curriculum so that we are not producing people who are wired for the job market necessarily, uh, but who have an option of going into the enterprise uh, uh, track. Raquel's case came weeks after a similar one by one Patrick Muthomi, who was also searching for a job using placards along Muthaiga Road. He too was lucky to get a job after his story was aired on KTN News. But the question many would ask now is, must all job-seeking youth take to the streets to get jobs? The Youth Fund was created purposely to empower the young people. Uh, we do this empowerment through lending. We support their business thinking, and, uh, and out of that, they are able to create their, themselves jobs. The main intention is that we need to have the young people to be job creators as opposed to job seekers. We will soon be embarking on opportunity mapping, and we want to go into every region and say, you know, in Kuala, what, is, what are the opportunities, and how do we develop products out of the box, specifically to address the opportunities in Kuala. And we do the same in Turkana, we do the same in Kakamega, we do the same in uh, uh, Garissa. Because when we provide homogeneous products as we have, then you know failure rates is likely to be high in some places where those homogeneous products do not work. It is estimated that 1.2 million fresh graduates are churned into the Kenyan market every year, with job opportunities created yearly being just about half a million. And as Raquel gets comfortable in her new office, about 700,000 fresh graduates would be looking to get job opportunities, or, as the institution is urging, entrepreneurship opportunities too. Sharon Momani, KTN News.